Wow, that's nice. Wonderful juice. Did you buy juice? Did you buy tiara juice? Am I going to fit? Tiara, they do figure. Neha, I fum ne. At buka buka ni ne buka. Uh huh. Mata doi doi. Tiara juice mo, kusi buka lu bari fun lakau muna ame. Am nanti beba betik si Marse, si supermarket funa lah. Kita guna ne moy, so buka wholesale. Wow. Muka dem sa MFH group. Wow. So fun lakau muna ame. Am nak cola, am nak strawberry, am nak mango, am nak pineapple, am nak berries, am nak orange, am nak lemon, am nak pineapple coconut, am nak passion fruit, am nak peach. Tiara juice bidal. Moyo itaral.
is Saturday and welcome to yet another episode of the Education Forum. Today we are here in Janjambure, Region 5, for the usual regional bantaba, concluding our search for grassroots opinion on the recent responsibility championed by the GTU CCU to pay its, ta its members salary on behalf of the government. Uh, with me here I have uh, regional uh, representatives. I also have uh, members of the Gambia GTU CCU and staff from different schools within the region. And they, they shall be talking to us. We shall be hearing their opinion on the scheme. Uh, on my immediate right, I have Mam Tamsirinjai, is the principal education officer, head of the broadcasting unit, Ministry of Basic and Secondary Education. On my immediate uh, right, I have Jibril Ba, is the acting director Education Acting Director, Region 5. And next to him is Alpha Kamara. Alpha is the Principal Education Officer, Region 5. And next to him is uh, Pa Mambure. Pa Mambure is the paymaster working with Gambia Teachers Union Cooperative Credit Union. Gentlemen, welcome. Okay. And teachers from different schools, you are also welcome. Uh, give me, to begin with, uh, if you understand that GTU, CCU, which is the Gambia Teachers Union, Cooperative Credit Union, has taken the sole responsibility of bettering the life of the, the teaching fraternity, especially those banking with them by paying their school, uh, their teachers' uh, salary, paying the teachers' salary, going to different schools, meeting teachers there and paying the teachers' salary. What's your own take on this scheme? How do you value this scheme? When I was posted here at the beginning of the town, there was this issue of teachers located in different schools and I came to notice some teachers traveling and spending the night. I was a bit worried, seriously, because if teachers have to travel and to spend the night, what happens the next day with, this, with, the, with the children in, you know, in the class? So I said to myself, no, I cannot take this. All of a sudden, because this payment of you know, teacher salary by GTU CCU was on. Then the following one, there was no teacher who came to me and said, please help, I want to spend the night so that I can be paid my salary and I'll go back to school. Thanks to their efforts to sort of make sure teachers are paid right in their schools without any issues. No, there might be, but the first problem that I encountered was for them spending the night. That part of it has been, you know, resolved. But to be honest, they, they have done a good job in terms of reaching the teachers, particularly those in the remote Mr. areas. Mr. you said what happens to the schools? That's the one answer I want to hear. Well, um, if a teacher is absent from school, obviously, there, the class will be empty, no teaching and learning. And imagine if a teacher's absence in a school is there even for one hour. What happened? But and how do you relate that to, to the loss of contact hours and the um, attainment of quality well, education? Well, we've, we've, got, to we've got it right, because there will be loss of contact time. You know, and the head teacher would be there, you know, trying to see how best to sort of figure out what to do next in terms of managing such classes where the teacher is absent. And also, if you look at the contact time, also it might, it's there to affect the child because if you look at the, you know, recommended time for instructional hours, if it is not gained, surely that will impact on the child's performance at some point. And and then you will be having you know, low performance and that's not good for So the would you say this intervention by GTU CCU has uh, retired to the dustbin? Well, yes, to be honest, they have. They have really helped to sort of keep the teachers in their schools and reaching them on time and paying them. Despite still we have some issues, 